Mitsubishi. Compilation. All right, bye. Hey, why rats gotta have like little grabby hands? Give man Cheerio and he just eats it like a bagel. Hey, you complaining? You complaining about the little man and his bagel? Behold, train. Train? Train. Train. Character development. Ray Toro no longer beating My Chemical Romance fans to death with his guitar. Instead, sharing his love of music. That's beautiful, man. Can't find a job because Jeff the Killer's already taken. But, by who? Jeff. I firmly grasp the hair on the side of my head, then tilt it, my neck separating to reveal only flesh. And then you look on to see that I have merely politely tipped my head to you, since I did not wear a hat to this lovely undead gathering. Mmm, milady. This little freak keeps sneaking into my garden and rubbing himself all over my flowers. Um, uh, hello? R real? Male bees don't go after flowers. They stay home. That freak is a herself. Googling bee genders as I dictate this post. Okay, the more you Google bee reproductive biology, the more absurd it is that we're applying the words male and female to them. Their actual genders are worker, drone, and queen. The queen is capable of both asexual and sexual reproduction. Bees born of unfertilized eggs become drones that are capable of fertilizing eggs. Bees born of fertilized eggs become workers, but can also potentially become a queen depending on how they are fed during the larval stage. Use whatever the fuck pronoun you want to describe bees, because they are all equally incorrect projections of human worldview onto an insect species. Bees don't experience mammalian sexual dimorphism in a biological sense, nor do they experience human gender dimorphism in a socio-political sense. Something to make me love bees even more. One time I dreamt I was kidnapped by plague doctors and they wanted to turn me into a thing I hate most. Tomato soup! I managed to escape Mary Poppins style and flew away on a tiny umbrella. The one you put in drinks while they sobbed about their soup! <sighs> Remember to read the blog name before the post. I was convinced that the start of this was an S-tier shit post until I realized. That's why I say it beforehand. Fun fact! Sometimes my owner will hold me above their head and run around so I can fly. Whee! Alright, Pokemon teams! Team of little guys who are going to bite you. Team of little guys that will torment you or steal your soul if you let them. Team of... Team of fucking creatures. Just guys. Look at him. Look at all of them. Pet them. My friend's cat loves attacking Christmas trees, but hates plastic bags. The narrative tension in this picture is outrageous. I will topple your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds, unbound by the fetters you have set, and the lines between man and women shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets. Your children shall fall into one another regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or a word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divine rights shall end, and it shall fall to each human to choose their- Wait, wait, what? Why are they cheering? Why are they cheering? Teaching STEM without teaching the humanities is how you get Spider-Man villains. Teaching theater without teaching the humanities is how you get Batman villains. Teaching STEM and theater is how you get Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Me, begging tears in my eyes. Please. Please just tell me what the book is about. The plot. Please. A book annotation on the cover, unbased. A subversive masterpiece. A deep and touching story. The New York Times bestseller. Go fuck yourself. Hear ye, hear ye. A new blorbo is here. Wait, what? Wait, where, where is it? Wait, where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is your friendly reminder that all birds are dinosaurs. Every single one. No qualifiers, no exceptions. Have a good day. Come, my child, before the humans return. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey, how much scarier would a frog be if it ran instead of hop? Like you just hear, pep, 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 pep,
coming towards you, and you look down, and it's just a frog going at full speed. Oh, my God. I was watching Futurama with my friend last night, and it glitched out so bad I got the best screenshot ever. When you remember an important task while going to bed at 3 a.m. Yeah. <clears throat> Men. Good post. This is a really good post. I'm a big fan of this post. Hey, someone who's never seen Phineas and Ferb explain what's going on in this picture. Well, Aaron Hansen appears in Miranda Cosgirl's acid trip. Oh. I wonder what happens if I put powdered milk into carbonated water. Well, my cereal is loud, and it's demanding to know why I would sin against both nature and God so thoughtlessly. How's it taste? Bad. Well, the fizz comes from carbonic acid in the water, splitting up into CO2 and H2O over time. And carbonic acid is, as an acid, sour. By adding milk to sour water, you've created a very convincing emulation of spoiled milk. So I believe, in a heartbeat, that the taste is not great. Trademark. I have mastered the potion instant spoiled milk, therefore earning the rank of shittiest alchemist currently alive. I'll thank God, because I was just about to say, there is a much shittier alchemist than you. When you touch an unaware cat and then make that small surprise sound, reblog if you agree. That little sound. Ah, that's the stuff. Don't listen to him, babe. Just keep opening more tabs into your browser. Load up that RAM. Do it. So, sell Tomb Raider to get crypto. Tomb. Tombs are associated with crypts. Raiding tombs is a form of destruction. Cryptocurrency and NFTs are crashing. Thank you, Laura Croft. You did it. Okay, but PM, hear me out. Elf, soft. But also pillow is soft. Yet still elf. Serotonin gal. Conclusion? Elf, serotonin pillow? So, logic dictates... Elf pillow? Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Maybe this is good. Maybe this is good. Andy, Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, don't try to stop me. Andy, please stop me. Andy, please stop me. This is a bad idea. I, Andy, please stop me! Please fire me! I work at a video store, and yesterday a man asked if I could see if we had a movie in. Only when I asked him what movie he wanted, he replied, the one with the bugs. I get dumb, vague descriptions like this quite a bit, so I powered on and asked him which one, and he was like, you know, the one with the mitochondrias. It took 10 minutes and a lot of yelling from the customer to find out that he meant midichlorians. Star Wars. It was freaking Star Wars! The midichlorian is the powerhouse of the Force! So today at church, we had a talent show, and one of the kids did the talent of telling jokes, and he set up a joke, What do you call a duck with fangs? And one of the little kids shouted, A fuck! And I almost died. Well, what do you call a duck with fangs? <sighs> Count Quackula. Any generic cola is just carbonated coffee or chocolate. I'm gonna stop you right there, snowing listener. As someone who has actually had chocolate soda? No, it fucking ain't. Carbonated chocolate soda is like Oreos mixed with NyQuil. If you play the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on the Switch, the painting of a panda with a gun pointed at it is changed to have Mario's hand. No. No. Chris Pratt, put down the gun! Why do coffee makers growl at you? What's the point of all that? Uh, they're called baristas, and they're working very hard. They deserve to let off steam however they like. Thank you. Non-freaks do not interact! This is a freaks-only zone! We do not have a dinosaur! Hmm. Sounds like something somebody with a dinosaur would say. Hey, what is it called when you kill a friend? Homicide. Murder. Nah. Homicide. My friend has a weird love for Cheetos, so he went to the Cheetos production factory and purchased 28 industrial-sized clear bags of Cheetos. They charged him $65 per clear bag. He's the one they warn us about in math problems. Cat equals cactuses. Cactuses are the cats of the plant world. Because of Toby Fox having an encounter where if Frisk interacts with a cactus, he calls it truly the most tsundere of plants. I wonder if that applies to cats. If cactuses are cats, then are cats the most tsundere of animals? 
I mean, have you watched any anime with a tsundere girl? 90% of them usually end up with cat ears as some sort of gag. Andy, back me up here. I'm officially releasing my soul into the public domain. Do what you will with it as long as you don't cause my body any physical harm. Mixing in a tiny piece of your soul every time I make soup. Pucky, are you my parent? I'm all of your parents. Literally all of them. Why'd you have to go and make things so swamplicated? Tumblr culture is not knowing if this is from 2008 or earlier this week. Hey, being smart has never stopped me from being a complete fucking idiot. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, but gay chicken sounds like you want to touch your homie's ass without your internalized homophobia getting to you. Just saying. Bless you with my transgender beam! Well, the beam doesn't make you transgender. It is transgender. The actual effect is 8d6 necrotic damage. So, have fun. <gasps> Bad and naughty variola majors get locked in the cold box to pay for their horrid smallpox crimes. This is officially the funniest ask we've gotten. You're officially considered funny by the CDC! Cock submachine gun like it's a shotgun. Not to ruin a joke, but that might be a Troy 223, which is a pump-action assault-looking rifle. Wait. 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 The Shadow the Hedgehog gun is real?! What? Ships. Male and female couples. But in an unmistakably bisexual way. Yes. I just think it's important to understand that you're always going to be mentally ill isn't the same thing as you are always going to be unhappy. Remember that. Teal and orange truly is the greatest color combo in the world. Like, name one better combo. Look at this. This is spiritually healing to me. A platypus palette? Hey, the platypus palette! Mysterious figure, may I have your attention? Me? Yes, of course. What is it? Secretly a fairy about to give me ADHD. No. Hate it. Joking about how no one joins Tumblr anymore isn't enough. We need to get rid of the sign up button. Get rid of the sign up button, but also the delete account button. We are in containment. I cannot work a job. I don't have time. Every day I need to sleep 24,593,280 hours. Okay, I need to actually, I'm, I'm calculating this right now because I'm curious. 24,593,280 divided by 24. Okay, that's 1,024,720 days. Divide that by, uh, you know, divide that by 365. It's uh, 2,807.45 years. That's, uh, that's a lot of sleeping you got to do today. Imagine a forest clearing in a cottage. Your drying herbs and your favorite record is playing on your record player. You've got muffins in the oven, and a gentle breeze is coming through the windows. You're happy, and everything is right. That's, that's fucking beautiful, man. Tumblr should have login bonuses and daily quests. Attention! New daily missions available! Make one soup post, threaten life of one politician, reblog corn gohan and or post theme to the current day of the week, and delete two ill-advised posts made last night in a sudden fit of depressive oversharing. Man shooting a Nerf gun in his light switch from the bed, missing every shot, and going to sleep with the lights on. <laughs> Me. No more hot girl summers. It's forest hag summer now. No bikini bodies, only aprons with pockets full of mushrooms and shiny rocks. No beach babes, only a tiny frog. That's way better, man. Hey, wasp girl, captured under a glass, slide paper under there. <gasps> the wasp girl's written her number on the paper. What do you do? Why would I want to date a Protestant? Hey, if Bowser kidnapped my wife, I would not be saying wahoo, no matter how fun the jump was. What's this wife business? Nobody calls him Prince Consort Mario. Yeah, if Bowser kidnapped my plumbing client, I would be saying wahoo, as long as those hours were billable. My dad and I made this fish tank for my mom for Christmas a few years ago with dollhouse figures. I thought it was pretty rad. I can't believe your mom's a fish. My plan. Step one, buy 15 identical cats. Step two, invite someone over. Step three, when they ask how many cats you have, say, just one, but he's really fast. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to be grateful that it isn't worse. Read that, read it again, and again, and again. Somebody 
somewhere always has it worse than you. There is one person on this planet that has it the worst of all, and that person is not the only person allowed to be unhappy with their lot. If things are bad for you, they are bad for you. Period. So stop fucking doing that statement, oh, you think you have it bad, because it does nothing! I do a magical girl transformation, but when the dust clears, I'm exactly the same, except now I have one small fat frog in my pocket. The frog is piloting you like a mech suit. Oh, fuck, they're on to me. I'm really bothered by the fact that basically the only reason why gay marriage is illegal is because some people think it's disgusting. You know, I think peas are disgusting. But we're not making that illegal, are we? Hey, what's wrong with you? Peas are delicious. Gay people are delicious, too. No dessert for you until you eat all your gays. What the fuck just happened here? Shh, be quiet and eat your gays. Hey, which is creepier, this animatronic Elvis I ripped the face off of while disassembling it, or the selfie with me wearing its face? The fact that you thought of doing this at all. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. Toxins and sludge, toxins and sludge. I'm a little lad who loves toxins and sludge. I hate that I know that by heart. And because it is the 100th video Andy has edited for me, I would like to cause mischief and chaos, if Andy will allow me to do it. I'm going to allow this. I present to you a callback so bad that majority of the comments filled up the video with this, to the point I had to make a second video. But I'm going to do it in opera. Persephone! It's way better than Persephone. Y'all, what do you guys do for a living? But describe it in the worst way possible. Yeah, I get splinter and paper cuts and fight the machines. I'm having a hard time figuring out what that is. Feed a person vampire blood, you get a ghoul. Feed an animal vampire blood, you get a hellhound. Water a plant in vampire blood, and you get a mandrake. Fill up your car with vampire blood. Probably good things, let's try it. Coming this Halloween from Sci-Fi. Vampire. The massive power of trains, yet confinement to a single path, makes them comparable to angels. The idea of a corrupted or fallen train is causing so much chaos in my head. The theological and engineering implications! Goalkeeper's ball gets photoshopped into cats. This is so natural. Like, I didn't question it. It's absolutely how I hug my cat, too. I think every fandom deserves a character as Vine's YouTube video. It's their legal right. Andy, what do you think? Not scientifically possible! Writing tuned. If you push buttons on a keyboard, letters will appear on the screen. And with that power, you can do anything! Yeah, I think it was cruel to give Lighty McQueen a foot fetish as he lives in a world where all feet are wheels. He has nothing. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I think. The Among Us rock watches over us all, as it has for thousands of years. Okay, but to me it looks like a kitty cat. Darth Vader wears a mask to hide severe and gruesome disfigurement from falling into a pit of lava, aid with speech and breathing. Kylo Ren wears a mask literally just because he's dramatic. Honestly, being a vampire who is also a goth kid is the best possible cover. Nobody's gonna think the kid in all black with an umbrella and sunglasses and a shirt that says bite me is actually a vampire. And they'll just think you're a goth kid pretending to be a vampire. I drink blood to sustain myself and to heal mortal wounds. <laughs> yeah, sure you do, Kyle. All right, listen, I may have one brain cell, but it's a fucking huge brain cell. Are you using it, though? Yeah. But, but when it does function, it just says, hey, draw elf. Electric stoves aren't real, by the way. They're placebo stoves. Your food cooks because of the placebo effect. Yeah, no, it's just a bunch of LEDs that turn red. It only boils water because you expect the water to boil. Why is this true? Hey, color code your infants so strangers know what their genitals look like. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound fucking weird. I hate it. <laughs> Breaking! The beloved dodgeball that had been stuck in the gym rafter since 2004 had been knocked down. The item used to free the ball, a basketball thrown by bored varsity players, immediately became stuck in its place. Rip. 
You ever think about how Mountain Dew is a really poetic name and how if someone didn't know what it was, they'd probably guess oh, some herbal tea made from the finest leaves of the Alps. But instead, it's just radioactive gamer soda. Right? He needs those parts for his spaceship. <gasps> He's going to outer space. PM, is there any drawing animation tools that someone with not much money can get? Procreate. <sighs> the software, guys. Baby girl, I have mental illnesses the DSMP haven't even heard of. DSM-5, I'm at DSM-5. No, it's too late. Dream's gonna find you. Oh God, he's here. 